Hello. Ah. <laughs> Boo. Ah. Gotcha. Bam. Surprise. Ah. Who <laughs> that? Hey, you. Hey, you. Get out of here. Not yet. He's like, that's oh, my cue. Uh, just like when he was in the band. Always early. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Nope. Nope. So how are you? Uh, All right. Yeah. Hey, Bill. I'm tired. I think I have to bring you guys up a bit. I'm all right. I'm all right. Stuff. Turn it up. Jesus. Hey. What's going on with these guys? I hope guys? these guys are just fucking with us. They That'd be fucking two. hilarious. They get, they get excited to, to fucking stream. Everyone loves streaming so much. Or maybe they're trying to watch the stream and they think... <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, we haven't told them that they have to go on, on the Facebook to figure it out. How's, how's everyone? How's everyone doing in the internet land? Fun. There's Kristoff. That's awesome. Fuck the fax is there. Oh wait, that's, that's us. us. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Hedis Lee. Awesome. Nice to see. So this is uh, so this is going to be a fun one because none of the other ones have ever been fun, but this one I think is actually going to be fun. Like the further back we go. The less we remember, so I'm expecting a lot of blurs, but I'm counting on the other guys to remember more, perhaps. Yeah, I think that's kind of the idea of doing these, is that other people will remember uh, stuff that we don't remember. I know when we when we were we were setting this up, I think just yesterday, like uh, Macandre and Dave said some pictures that they had from um, this era. And there was like, I was like, holy fuck, man, that's crazy. Like, I totally forgot about that. Like, one of the things is like, we did that uh, Headex Concrete tour out west with this lineup. Uh, uh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it's just wild. It's crazy stuff. I wasn't born yet. Yeah. No, you weren't even born yet. No, I think you were. You were in the. Yeah, you were being born. I think we picked you up. <laughs> Straight from the bar. Yeah, we picked you up in Vancouver. Just as you were born, we drove you back and <laughs> put a guitar in your hands. And yeah, here we are. That's funny. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. Also, happy birthday. Happy 50th birthday. 50th? Happy I'm there already? Looking all right. 15. I said 15. Oh. I said 15th. 1 5. All right, so, mm -hmm. happy, happy 15th birthday. You can legally drink in Quebec now. <laughs> Just the beer, though. <laughs> Just beer only, though. No maple Corey's syrup. There. There. That's nice. Nice to see Corey. We love Corey. One of our favorite people. Uh, we love everybody, though. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, what, else, what else we got to say? So, Legacy of Hopelessness. Yeah. Um, this is definitely a different... This is definitely a different one. So Vil wasn't even Vil wasn't in the band at the time that we did this, uh, obviously because Tim was the drummer at the time. And actually, you joined on guitar. So Dave yeah. was the other guitar player, and Vil is the person that ended up replacing Dave. Um, so, but Legacy is a really different release. Like anyone that's actually listened to this release probably can tell it's very different. And I, when I when I wrote it, I actually intended it to be a different project. Um, and I think I I think I even wrote to my buddy Lee, my buddy Lee Newton, who's in a Brazilian band, and he's actually uh, done some shows with us before as well, about playing drums on it as this kind of new project. And that didn't work out for some reason, and then we were, I was just like, oh, fuck it. It's just going to be a fuck the facts release. Uh, and that's one of the reasons that, actually, I think I do most of the vocals. And it, you do most of the vocals? I, yeah. I forgot that. I do a what? lot of the vocals up until, like, a certain song that I think I hadn't done vocals before or I'd written after. It's all very hazy now. 
That's why we will listen to it, because the amount of years we haven't heard or paid attention to listen and sat down. And... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's a it's a fun one though. Um, they were also fun to play live because they incorporated more like digital sounds, I guess, which was well, they were not in other songs. They were they were life. written with MIDI, and I actually I posted it, but I still have it here. Uh, that's the computer that I wrote. We need Vanna White in the yeah. back, just like. It's fucking fuck that's the facts the, first keyboard player. That's <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's the computer that I wrote. <laughs> Good job, Dolphin. It's this is difficult to do. Um, man, I yeah, yeah, have a lot of respect for the people that got to do this on TV. Yeah, you you would be a horrible yeah. weatherman. <laughs> so there's a chance of clouds here, some rain over there. Um, but yeah, no. So I did all the MIDI. I got this years and years ago. I think when I even when I started using it, it was already old and dated. But it's what I used to make MIDI back in the day. And uh, besides legacy, um, there's like other stuff that I did even, you know, back when I was doing stuff in like the late nineties that I did on that Atari. Uh, I gotta say, Mike mentioned that it's Mike Alexander's birthday today. So Mike and Ed, it's concrete and that's awesome. Yeah, another great dude we had a lot of fun with over the years. Um, but yeah, so yeah, legacy was a really different release and that's that's kind of what we're focusing on release wise but we're also focusing on the era of dave mac andre and tim because yeah. um, and, and and it's it's a bit confusing because those guys played on that release though i do feel like their contribution uh, musically to the band was more for stigmata high five because most of the writing was done, or I didn't say a lot of the writing was done for Stigmata High Five when those guys were, were in the band. Um, and uh, I know Dave for sure uh, wrote, you know, a bunch of uh, things on Stigmata, like the whole clean section in the wrecking. That's Dave that wrote that, mm. whole, that whole thing. They were mentioning um, that when we were doing yeah. Stigmata. And, and, uh, yeah, Dave wrote that whole clean section and uh, probably some other stuff as well that I'm not remembering right now. And um, and uh, and Tim obviously had a big influence in, in the yeah. drums that were written on that yeah. album. So so you know it's kind of like a split sort of thing. So we're gonna listen to Legacy uh, and revisit that because that's the recording. That's the only recording that we actually did with this lineup. Uh, but but the, I, yeah, like you're saying, they, they didn't wrote that music because that was all written by you. So, well, there is a few things. Dave does. Okay. Dave did do some stuff. I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of bring that up with him uh, when we get him out. But uh, yeah, I don't know, man. Like anyone's, uh, you know, got any questions about this stuff? Like definitely write it in those uh, comments. There, we'll try and cover as much stuff as possible but as always it's it's super exciting because um you know we haven't talked to these guys in in years you know um it's been a long time so it's going to be really fun to kind of catch up and and see what they're up to and uh relive some of the times that we had uh in the band yeah that's good yeah did i talk yeah. enough I think yeah. so. You can you can edit that a bit, right? Later. Well, not live, but yeah, later. What? <laughs> live? <laughs> no one said we were live. But yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. It's kind yeah, of so uh, maybe, for uh, me. It's kind of an obscure era of the band too. It's a really obscure era. I think that's why, I like talking about it, I'm like I'm so just kind of confused. Yeah, uh, but you know, but like a song like "Dear Shitbook" is like we played that a lot. Yeah, you know, even with with you in the band, yeah, I was yeah. watching some uh, like a while back now, but I was watching some old footage of the, the first time that we played Maryland Death Fest, we and the, the live video that I found on YouTube is us playing "Horizon" and "Dear Shitbook." Yeah, <laughs> it's, yeah. So that was like you know, because they're fun songs were, live. They're, they're like mm -hmm. short, simple, and they're completely different just because of all the samples and stuff. Yeah. It's one funny thing is when we played these, uh, we never, we didn't play to a click. No, it so, sucked. 
We were like literally like, Bill would start the sample for Dear Shitbook and he would just have to kind of listen and like follow oh. along to it. Hope and and hope he can hear it well enough. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And if he didn't, he just stopped the sample. Yeah. But, uh, Good old Dr. Dr. Rhythm. Yeah, Dr. Rhythm. R.I.P. Dr. Rhythm. Yeah. Oh, still works. Can still uh, bring it back. Then Dr. Rhythm. <sighs> Yeah, no, I don't. I think I, uh, no. I well, think we... I actually, I gave, this is, this is kind of like a, a side story, but when uh, Martin Bolduc toured with us in, for the Naraxis tour, as payment, I think I gave him like an old sampler. I thought they you were going to say an old us. sample. You can use this no, right now. Yeah, there, there were samples on it, so we can use them <laughs> if he wants. But I think that was the thing. It's like, you know, hey, come on tour with us. Here, you can have this sampler. It's a royal, and then you just do royal merch sampler. for 30 days. 30 days, and here's a sampler. Uh, we had fun, though. Oh, shit. Um, <sighs> Goddamn. Yeah. So who, who are we bringing oh, in first? Oh, wait, hold, hold on. Someone's okay, saying okay. the Peterborough experience video is the same FTF formation. Yeah. There is, oh man, I don't totally remember it, but there's a video of us uh, outside Grassroots in Peterborough because we show up at a show way too early and we're just hanging out for like seven hours before uh, the Sounds venue normal. even opens. It, yeah, it's horrible. Yeah. Yeah, I don't remember. Yeah, there's some fun samples. Uh, in that Christoph is mentioning as well. <laughs> yeah, I have that like that that uh, simple in my head like often. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. it's it's um, okay. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's horrible. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So. Uh... Yeah, so maybe I don't know. We can we can get started. We got three. We got three people. We're gonna Ooh. we're gonna kind of like uh, bring them out one at a time, kind of in the, the order that they join the band, and uh, we'll see how this goes. We never did a stream with like three guests before, so it's gonna. And be I know great. even yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's gonna go great because even when we were doing the test, it just seemed like. <laughs> Every moment it's like, oh, is this work? Is this work? Oh, no, no. So we'll see. I'm just not gonna talk. Cause I think I think I fucked up my next scene anyway, so I'm gonna have to edit on the fly, actual live edit. Yeah. But I guess we'll see. <laughs> and you got one of those like bleep buttons. You nope. Know, you need to bleep a lot. Bleep? No, no bleeps. We'll be bleeping. Visual bleeps. But yeah, we'll. Uh, who are we bringing in? Uh, Dave. Dave okay. Menard. So Dave Menard. Uh, yeah, let's br let's bring in Dave. Okay. Uh, well, let's, ready or not, Dave. here he comes. And I did fuck up my scene, see? Bill. <laughs> uh, wait. So... It never fucked that oh, part up. Okay. Okay. So we're, we're halfway there. What are we there. talking about? Hey. <laughs> Fucking art. <laughs> oh, hey, Dave. How's it going? Good. Wait, wait. How are you? you? Good, yeah. Thanks for coming and hanging out. It's It's been a while. Exactly. Here yeah. I am. Damn. Yeah. So, uh, so, yeah, what have you been okay. up to the past 15 years? <laughs> well, you know, pumping out kids <laughs> and going to work, all that. Yeah, that's a, fu that's a funny thing. Well, maybe we'll, uh, I'll mention it now because we talked about it when we were doing the test is when when we had this lineup and we were jamming, Macan de Grey was the only one with a kid. Um... And none of us had kids, but now all of us have like I think two kids, and yeah, Mac yeah, Andre's kid. I think he said like she's like forty-seven now, and she's moved out. And she's, forty-seven. Yeah. <laughs> like, so yeah, she's, it's yeah, it's all it's all backwards now. Yeah. But yeah, no, it's really fun. So yeah, I don't know, man. Well, I, I, like. I didn't want to bring this up too much when we were talking earlier because I kind of want to relive the experience as it's as like live as possible. But I don't even remember exactly how you came to be in the band because we didn't know each other before you joined, right? Um. Well, 
it goes back to force fed really because that was my introduction to you was yeah. i listen to force fed all the time so if anyone doesn't know and probably no one knows i used to do a radio show at ottawa university called force fed it was like a two-hour metal radio show okay sorry man. and you did it for years and years and yeah years. i did it yeah. for a long time yeah so i listened to that throughout high school and uh yeah, just you got bored, so I'd call in, and he'd always have these contests, so I'd get tapes, and then uh, it turned into kind of me ordering tapes, and then whatever. I remember you would write me, like with your tapes, you'd write little things with them, and uh, yeah, that's that's how I remember you, and then it was seeing you at shows, because uh, you were in Recondite. And I went, I remember seeing, yeah, Recondite and Kuru. Mm -hmm. Where was it? Uh, some Irish bar. Oh, yeah. It was uh, Molly Maguire's, like yeah. in, the in the market. Yeah. That yeah, was an awesome yeah. show. Yeah. So that's, I think, where I connected that you two were the same person. Because I remember on your show, you never really said you were in Kuru or anything like that. You would just say, I'm giving away tapes and whatnot. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, that's how that started. And I think the FTF thing came around. I was in college, and Steve came up to me, and he said you were looking for a guitar player. Like and Steve? Yeah. Steve DeCarlis? Yeah. So he got – he connected us in that sense, I think. And then I went to your uh -huh. place. I went to your place in the winter near Algonquin. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we just, I guess I just went, played, and that was that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. I didn't remember much of that. <laughs> I just knew you were there. Yeah. Yeah. You came, we used, we we just, just showed up one day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and it's just because I have such a, a horrible memory. Like, it's it's really bad. Like, I don't know what I ate. I wake up and the kids show up and I'm like, who are you? And then I'm like, oh yeah, I forgot. Children that I created. Um, yeah, for me at the time, it was kind of weird because I used to either stay up and listen to Forest Fed or I would set a tape deck to record it before I left. Because you know, you're younger. You would leave later at night, right? Yeah. So, yeah. I'd <laughs> yeah. record, leave, and then I'd listen to it again, dating myself on a tape deck for the rest of the week at school and stuff. Yeah. So, and I, I still have those tapes, so it's funny. Because, <laughs> no way. That's yeah, awesome. I have a drawer yeah. full of. They're yeah. all. They all just say force fed, and I made yeah. like of the songs I liked. I would copy them, dub them onto another tape, <laughs> and make my own little comps. So. And that's so. Yeah, that's so cool because it's such a different reality than, yeah. you know, anyone that's, you know, you know, under like 40 years old now is probably like confused by what's happening. <laughs> and that's uh, ageism. I that I was, I was yeah. trying to explain that to our 11, soon 11 year old daughter that how I discovered new music was to listening to some underground radio shows and just like trying to find yeah. new music and yeah. that yeah. was the way to do it back then well for me it was the same it was, for me it was actually the show meltdown uh which was on the carlton university radio show and i listened to that religiously like monday nights you know at home yeah uh, because that's how you could hear like you know stuff um yeah that's yeah that's really cool so so yeah well and it's funny because i would go through like again up until whatever years later like i'd have all these tapes and on the back i would write because you mumble so i'd write what i thought you called the band you know <laughs> i'm a, yeah i'm a mumbly guy like you know i i, I remember definitely... the hardest one to figure out which i eventually did and i bought the cd but was phlebotomized <laughs> oh yeah and it's that, funny man it took, it took me forever to figure out what this it's, fan name was, you know? <laughs> it's funny you mentioned phlebotomize because we like recently, like, I, I'm actually new to this whole like streaming service thing in the past like few months. 
So yeah. Mel signed up for the streaming service, and I was like, oh, music fuck. streaming, yeah, music yeah. streaming service, and I and I like I actually tried to find like I'm trying to find all these albums that I used to listen to, and Phlebotomized was one of them, that, yeah. and I couldn't find it on streaming. Not they have like other albums, but I couldn't yeah. find that one album. Yeah, but, I know if because they they re-released it. Uh, which is the one I have. It's like a comp of the first two albums. Okay. I think if you write that in, it's there somewhere. Okay. Yeah, yeah they're still going. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's fun. Yeah, that's crazy. Um, so yeah, you, so so we started, I guess, jamming. You just came down and we we just started playing some shit and that was it. Yeah. And I and, think and, we, we connected on just types of music and tunes and stuff and then you showed me some of your riffs and I tried to learn them and then uh, yeah I think you sent me home with Backstabber hmm. which at the time I remember getting home and being all like I don't know what the hell is happening on this CD yeah. <laughs> it was the hardest uh, even, yeah, 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 even now no one knows what the hell is happening on I remember that being all like I'm supposed to learn these songs but I can't hear anything <laughs> I think you ended up making tabs or something. <laughs> the great, uh, great on stories. Uh, yeah, because uh, yeah, you join in because Matt was still the drummer. Yeah, and uh, so, it was basically it was basically the four of us. So it was, so it was me. It was the three of us: you, me, and Dave, and Matt. And that was it. So he came when Tim Odette left. Yeah, right. yeah, you basically replaced Tim Audet. Yeah, I think you needed another bald guy. <laughs> so I came in. And I, if I remember, I'm looking at that collection of splits because I was trying to jog my memory. I think you were recording in your, in your home there. You were doing Unburden and like, I think Ventriloquist okay. Complex was the first thing I played on. Oh, you played on that? Yeah, I think that was the first thing I did. It was that. So you you that do, play. there's a solo or something in the middle, right? Yeah, so I did the solo, then you did a solo, and then I did another solo kind of copying your solo. Bill, do you have that handy? That, uh, uh, yes. that song? Okay, I forgot. So we did that, because we had already done the feeble-minded split, and you played that. Then did you play on uh the subcut you must have played on the subcut stuff as well then i never really knew where you put anything <laughs> uh, like the uh like another living night <clears throat> i know that i think from your collection of splits like the first songs on the collection play of on splits. the first nine yeah okay I think. yeah that would make sense yeah i think there's like this means nothing. I think I just added a bunch of squeals and stuff. You basically had me come in and just say, do something here. Mm -hmm. And I didn't know what to do, so I'd just make noise or play some bungo ripoff thing or something like that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you, okay, cool. Man, thank God you're here to, you actually remember this stuff. That's awesome. Yeah, I had a good time. Yeah, I just needed nah. to jog my memory, so. Um, yeah, this is the song. So, how long after you joined did Tim arrive? Um, because now I think you remember more than us. <laughs> um, so I guess I had more of an outsider view at that point because yeah, Matt left. I think there was that twenty yeah metal fest. Mm-hmm. And then it's funny because that's where, what are we talking about there tonight there? The, the legacy, because yeah. you had that, you had that kicking around for a while as your own thing. Yeah. So in my yeah. brain still, because you gave me a demo of it, it was just you. Mm -hmm. And uh, I still have that, but in my head, that's oh. how it still sounds. So like <laughs> I listened to the real one the other day and I was like, this is not right you know <laughs> so <laughs> it still but, sounds uh, like the demo 
In my head, yeah, because I yeah. remember there were a few parts that are on the demo that aren't on mm -hmm. the CD. There's there's one thing I guess we'll, we'll we'll get to it I think in the recording once we skip to that soon, but uh, I have yeah, this. So that's that... me playing. I think. Okay. Anyway, but the weird solo before that is me. And that's you. But you you gave me this because I was say? going through. What it's it it's hard to see, probably. FTF Dave. Dave acoustic outro. Okay, I don't know what and, that is. And uh, yeah, I think it's I think there's an acoustic thing on Legacy of Hopelessness that we'll get to. Okay. Uh, and you gave me this. It's like here's an idea. I think I re I created something, and you and you're like, okay, I took your idea and I did an acoustic version of it. Okay. But you and so you gave me this, but you wrote shitty sound on it because you're like, I and I think that was like that's your way of saying Topon, don't use this. And yeah. I was like, shitty sound, fucking right, I'm gonna use it. <laughs> you're not you're not scaring me, Dave Bernard. <laughs> shitty shitty sound is my middle name. I don't know what's on there, so. Oh, and we'll we'll hear it because I'm pretty sure I just like fuck it, dude. We'll just use that. It's good enough. Um, so yeah, apparently, so we're uh, getting, uh, yeah, Dave, you're, you're, you're credited, Dave on, the credited subcut. on subcut split via, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah so, so the subcut that must have been the one that I did with Matt in his basement, yeah, we did it in and Matt's again, basement, it was, yeah. It's the one also that uh, Mike Alexander from Head It's Concrete came when he was down and he did some backing vocals, yeah, um. But uh, yeah, a lot, yeah, a lot of cool stuff. Yeah, I remember uh, that one was again a case of play a harmony here, do a mm -hmm. something here, and I was like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, you know, I like, I should say, you know, you're you're a crazy, you're an amazing guitar player, you know, like. So well, it was really you. it was it was really easy that to say like Dave, do something awesome here. You know, because you could play guitar way better than I could. And I just be like, I need something crazy here. And you would just be able to do it. Um, and uh, but yeah, we'll we'll get I, I, I think we should probably get Tim in here. Yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, but yeah, we'll get into all that stuff as well. I think once yeah, we Tim, get the other guys in. I don't remember when he started. I know that I don't, I don't remember if it was a good vibe at the time, but it feels like at the time you were a little annoyed at everything, if I remember. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh, really? Me? I know. And um, I don't remember. Yeah, let's bring him in. I don't I, remember. Yeah, let's. Yeah, well, let's get Tim in. Bill, are you still there? Yeah, yeah, I'm still here. Okay. I just I wrote Tim. Just so. Thank, thanks for playing that song. Uh, Is Tim there? Yeah, he's there. But you know, fuck it. Here you go, Tim. Ready or not, here you are. <laughs> Hey Tim. He's muted. What's going on? Okay. Oh, oh, hey. Hey. There he is. <laughs> How's it going, man? Not bad. How are you guys? Uh awesome. Yeah. Thanks for thanks for hanging out. No problem. It's a pleasure, man. Yeah, it's it's super fun catching up after all these years. Like we were saying when we got together on the the, the test. The last time we saw each other is when at House of Targ, you were playing with the Donner Party, and it's got to be at least seven years, at if least not longer. Yeah, maybe. I honestly can't remember that House of Targ. Like, I'd only played there a handful of times, but honestly, that one may have been one of the last like shows that Donner Party actually did, other than like house parties type of thing. So, yeah. Cool. Yeah. So yeah, all that to say, it's it's been a while. Yeah. How you doing? Good. Very good. Yeah. 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 <laughs> busy, busy as always. Yeah. <laughs> you were saying. Um. So I don't know. We'll do. We'll kind of do the same thing we did with Dave. Like talk about like when you first started playing with us. I know. Matt. Matt left, and ba so. I kind of. Because I actually, because Matt joined Experiment in Terror, which is a band that you were in before, yeah. and you joined us. So we almost kind of like switched to drummers. It's basically we're just yeah. It's 
Yeah, it's the whole drummer problem Switcheroo. of like being a band work. So <laughs> drummers are just like, oh, you want? Yeah, I can be in your band. Why not? Like, let's let's do that. We'll do both. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, it was actually Connell. I think it may have been Connell who actually asked me. Oh wow! Kind of, he kind of either he hinted, and then you contacted me shortly after. Yeah. Something along those lines, because I yeah. knew Connell from a long time, even before hanging out with you guys and whatnot. Yeah. Um, but we just randomly meet up at the PDX and get hammered. <laughs> PDX. Yeah, I know. That's yeah, I definitely think definitely the lot back then. We were all always getting hammered. Yeah, well, all the time. Connell suggested him, like Tim, and then Topon, you talked to me because I was friends with Tim. And I think mm -hmm. at the time we were, we had shows like very yeah. uh, always on the weekends. Yeah. And uh, oh, yeah. always. Tim was like, well, he'll learn it fast. So, yeah, I don't think, well, I, because I remember the first show that I played with you guys was Quebec City with Despised Icon. Oh really? Where was that? That Quebec City. I don't remember the. Um, I don't remember the actual venue. Small, just bar, random thing. It was winter-ish. It was like November, December. There was snow outside. I remember going outside, and there was definitely snow. But yeah, and I remember that was the first time I saw Alex Bryan on drums, and I was like, I, I have work to do. <laughs> <laughs> but which year was that? It's got to be two thousand. 2004? Yeah, it would have been four going into five, I think. Yeah. Yeah. That yeah, sounds think. about right. Yeah. Yeah, it was pretty cool. I was yeah, still remember. I started in 2003. Yeah. 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 And it's, and you know, like a big thing when with that is like Dave was saying, like we had shows basically almost every single weekend. Yeah. You know, if it wasn't local, it was like, you know, some Montreal or Quebec City or Toronto or something. So we kind of needed people that were like willing to, <laughs> to do that shit, which is, you know, which isn't for everybody, obviously. But, uh, but yeah. I think it helped that all of us were kind of you know, in that phase, you know, without kids, without there, yeah. Yeah. But yeah. But yeah, no, it was, you know, and I think, like I was saying, you know, earlier, like, like, obviously we did this Legacy of Hopelessness EP together, but the, I think the writing for uh, Stigmata High Five is like a huge, you know, your, like Tim's influence on that is like huge. But the album would not sound the same if you know you hadn't have written like all that crazy fucking shit yeah that was me listening to cryptopsy too much yeah <laughs> and i blame that on you guys because you guys made it capable for me to hang out with phil minier and talk to him and yeah. then become still friends with him <laughs> yeah. so like, his influence was just like all right now he's just my favorite person and drummer in the world so i'm gonna do like him <laughs> do you still listen to a lot of cryptopsy or is that phase a bit no, no, I still do. Yeah. <laughs> Randomly. Uh, I mean, it's it's not kind of like my first go-to thing when I'm going out to work in the morning, but yeah. I definitely like, hey, I haven't listened to this in a while. Go. And I just like, man, this is really good. <laughs> and the nostalgia as far as listening to most things, except for a couple of the newer albums, but that's a whole other story. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. But yeah, like most of that stuff, but like for talks to you, especially back in the day, I was just like, I just want to be the fastest most psychotic like jazz grind drummer around with yeah well well tim was holy fuck bill <laughs> bill i'm not taking your job yeah. seriously holy shit. yeah where's all of ours get everyone <laughs> um yeah but yeah like tim like that's another thing. like tim was you were also you were in uh, you were jamming playing with us you also were in the donner party you're also in dr wiley uh, there might be something that uh, else I don't remember. Uh, well, I was still jamming with Dave randomly. Uh, that wasn't anything serious, but that was still just fun. Oh yeah, you guys had something too, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't. There's been too many bands that've been in, unfortunately. Well, yeah, no, and that's the thing. Like you know, back at that in the t at that time, like you were really like the drummer. Yeah, pretty know? much. 
I, I don't. I still don't know why. I wasn't ever very good. Still not. I don't think at least. But I, I was able to. My biggest thing is that I was able to jam. Like yeah. you came up with a song, I could have a drum part that I'd have somewhat organized to a yeah. sample of like, and I'd be able to follow you perfectly. Yeah, That's, yeah. You yeah. didn't need the stuff biggest. pre-written for you. You were able to make up something for it. Yeah. Usually. Like it yeah. would be fantastic, but it would, it's passable enough to be like, oh well, that's that's a good start, you know. Which usually end up just sticking to that because, again, I'm more creative than consistent, so I'll, I'll try to. I'm lazy. No, so but I, I, I play it. It's good. So. Yeah, no, I actually that's a good point because I like you know I showed you a lot of probably didn't make much sense, but you you were able to like turn them into like you know some really cool things. I think like the wrecking is. The Wrecking is a song I think that, you know, we wrote together that I feel you really, you know, I don't know. Influenced. That was, yeah, yeah. Came up with some really cool shit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, that was definitely a fun. I can actually, weirdly enough, because I watched some of your other streams the other time, and then I remember you said that uh, Pod was on there. I was like, oh, cool, I'll check it out. And I was like, just out of curiosity, I sat down on the drums listening to it, and I actually played to it, and I was like... I can kind of still do it, which is hilarious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> do you still play or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, especially more now. Like, uh, as I was telling Dave and Mark earlier, I was just saying that I have kind of Friday evenings to myself. So I get a good two to three hours, if I'm lucky, to just kind of play. So yeah. after work. Not, not jamming with anyone, so to speak, but I do still jam with people. Uh, like Donna Party, weirdly enough, before you contacted me about this, the weekend before that, uh, I had jammed with Donner Party for the first time in four years. Wow. So, yeah. That's all. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm actually surprised it's only four years because <laughs> Donner Party is like as old as we are. So you guys <laughs> are like, like 20 years old. It's Yeah, it's since I was 17. So 20, 21 years. Or maybe even a little bit more. 20, yeah, 20, 20, that's, years. yeah, it's crazy. Well, hopefully, you know, like anyone that's, you know, listening... You know, hopefully Donner Party will do something again. And if not, is, are there some Donner Party recordings out there? Because yeah. it's a band awesome band. power violence. Uh, Bandcamp. Yeah. So there's, there's, yeah. Okay. Like Donner Party. Yeah. It's actually it's again it's free for lists and like two dollars or something a dollar well, for like something. all the old yeah. stuff is there. That that album I actually did. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm. It was Dave Sarazen yeah. who uh, tracked that, and then I ended up doing. The mixing that's on there now didn't really master it. I just kind of because I was in Terra, so I was like, "Oh, oh yeah, I can do it." So I just kind of did a thing that I think was nine hours of mixing before we ended up leaving for a show in Montreal the next day, just so we could say we had like five CDs to give out. Yeah, so, but that mix has has stuck, which <laughs> that's awesome. That's usually how it it's goes. It's not great though. Yeah, yeah. It's no, okay. For it's what cool. it is, our violence, it's good. No, yeah oh yeah like you guys were like donner party was an amazing power of violence band we'll, we'll have to throw up the link so so people can check yeah, it out that's what i um i brought it up we should we should though get uh maca on the guy in here though because yep. he's been he's like been captain patience <laughs> waiting around while, while hanging out having fun yeah and i guess so we're bringing marc andre and he was in order the last person of the three to join. yeah Okay. And, and a funny, a funny fact uh, is that Maca Andre is actually the original bass player in Fuck the Facts because we never had a bass player before Maca Andre started playing in the band. No, your brother played for a week. Oh. We don't even. That's Family not even doesn't a, count. That's not an actual. He didn't play on anything. Well, on Wikipedia, I think. Yeah. <laughs> uh, can't debate the stat. The but yeah, no, an actual like bass player. Like, yeah, an actual cool. bass player. Mac Conley is the is the original. Is he there? Did he leave? No, he's still there. Yeah, like, he lit, he, he's I like, think he's listening to the shit. stream, so I'm just gonna. It's like, what did you guys say? Like 20 minutes? It's been like a fucking hour. So I'm gonna move him, and we'll see what happens. <laughs> I saw Hello? that someone said fucking A and I was stoked and then I realized it was us. Hey. Hey. Salut, ça va? Oui. Can you guys see me? Because I can't see myself. No, we can't. No, you you got to turn uh, your camera on. Oh, I ah. 
There we go. Ah, there you go. <laughs> Et voilà. Et me voilà. Hey. How's it hey. going, man? Good. Good, yeah. good, good. Yeah, so thanks, thanks for hanging out. Thank you for unlocking me from that waiting room because the person's <laughs> yeah. gone, the baby's gone, and then <laughs> I was all alone. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. Yeah, no That's what you get for being a bass player. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's just abuse, right? That's it. Like, uh, um, yeah, if you, yeah, uh, you want to join on guitar, you're, you're number one on guitar, right? Always. Well, that, front, was, front of the line. that was my initial attempt at Fuck the Facts. If you'll recall, like it was uh, back on, uh, on MySpace. You had put out uh, an ad. You were looking for a guitarist, and I guess probably Dave also, you know, contacted you because uh, I came by and did a little audition. I even recorded like two, um, I think, versions of a couple songs with like me playing one of the guitar tracks. And uh, in the end, uh, you chose Dave. Uh, I, I still think that was the the best decision. <laughs> But uh, then, um, I don't know if it was a few weeks or months after, uh, I think you knew I also played bass, so you contacted me and you were like, well, you know, we have a guitar player, but, you know, if you want to play bass, then maybe uh, we could uh, try you out. So, uh, so then I tried on bass, uh, and uh, that was uh, when I got the gig. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, I totally forgot. And but now I remember that yeah, you actually did come down and with a guitar and we we jammed. And yep. then we just like switched to bass. There's even this one show that I played guitar. No. Uh, it was like we were transitioning. It was after I think Bill was on what what was Bill playing drums, I think. I was playing guitar. It was in uh, Sherbrooke, Sherbrooke Metal Fest. Wow. Holy fuck. That's crazy. I totally forgot about that. So I guess Dave had left? Yeah, it was yeah. kind of uh, near, I, I, I don't know, like I don't recall who left when and, and exactly. I think yes. Dave and I left pretty much at the same yeah. time. So maybe it was after we had left. And then I came back for one show on guitar. Yeah, that's surreal. It, I did not remember that. It um, is. It is funny how we just like always we, like most bands are like a guitar and a bass player and you're okay. But us, it's like no, we need two guitars. Fuck the bass. We don't need a bass player as long yeah. as there's two guitars. It's crazy because I don't remember that, but I remember like crazy, ir irrelevant details like yeah it wasn't ir irrelevant at the times but i remember driving back and like in the early morning we stopped for like pee break and we left without you and then we realized <laughs> like <laughs> i remember that oh yeah you remember that you know, it's not long like we didn't go far like someone was like hey back out he's not in the van but like i remember that but i yeah, don't yeah. have to show you played guitar you remember that uh, one? i don't even Probably. remember that so no uh, i rem i even remember that <laughs> whoa <laughs> yeah I that's true there was one there was this one time we were coming back maybe from toronto or something and i was kind of half asleep in the van and we stopped at this you know this place and i I, um, it, it, there was a convenience store and I walked out and I tried to buy like a bag of chips or something, but I think I didn't even have shoes on. I was like, half a, <laughs> like uh, you know, all disheveled. And then I handed this $20 bill to the guy to pay and it was a fake $20 bill. No. <laughs> so anyway, he refused to, to sell me the, the the chips, but I wasn't even trying to uh, trying to like uh, fraud him. Like I had uh, withdrawn that at an ATM in Toronto. Anyway, so <laughs> that's one I remember, but I don't remember you guys uh, leaving without me. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I was in Quebec, like around the Roman or something. Oh like uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of crazy stories there. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Like maybe maybe we can start checking out Legacy. Yeah. 
Well, so did, did Mac you know that? Was always on oh. it, right? Everybody's oh, wait, hold on. What so did you say? There was this, uh, you know those pictures that you posted about oh, me? Oh, yeah. Uh, Harry yeah you, oh, I said yeah, I yeah. had a story. Do you want me to tell it? Yeah, yeah. I would okay. like to hear this story. Okay, so so that uh, th those pictures, they, they were taken at the Barry Moore's. Uh, it was the Ottawa Death Fest. It was Cryptopsy and us and the Spies so Icon. Yeah, yeah, those pictures. And they were taken by, by Nick Hinchey. Uh, so, so Nick, uh, he's a, a friend of mine. He's uh, really into uh, photography. Mm -hmm. And uh, he was going to be there, so I said, you know, can you take a few pictures of our set and, uh, you know, so we can post some things online and, and everything. And he did. On MySpace. Oh, yeah. yeah I've, known, on MySpace. I've, known, I've known Nick for years, too. Like. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know you, you're good friends with Nick, too. Uh, but uh, I, I remember that it was like the day after the show. He, um, he showed me those pictures and uh, I was like, wow, they're really cool, you know, uh, can, can I take them and, you know, we could uh, scan them and post them online. And he was like, well, I'm not 100% happy with the way they turned out. Like, I want to do a few more things to them. Like, I'm not a photographer. I don't know what those things are that he could do, like develop them more or whatever. But he wanted to do more stuff. So he was like, I'm gonna give you that set, but don't don't use it. Don't give it to anyone. And but I thought they were fine. So you know, I think I gave them to you, Topan, and, and you posted them. And then he was like, "What the hell?" You know, <laughs> I told you they weren't ready. You know, and uh, so I got in a little bit of uh, hot water for uh, for uh, leaking those pictures that weren't ready. This is almost the equivalent of Dave's story earlier that wrote on the city like shitty sound, hoping <laughs> Topon won't use them and Topon used them anyway. I, yeah, yeah. I, ba I basically had zero patience for <laughs> waiting for anything. Um, that's funny. So we never, then we never actually saw it. We never, whatever he was going to do to the photos, we have no idea. I think he's almost done. He's almost done. Yeah. I'm gonna write him and see, like, dude, how's it coming along with those photos? You know, we paid you good money for those. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, that's funny. Those are those. I still have like a whole, a whole whack of those, and it's crazy to have those photos because they're not digital, and so many mm -hmm. of them are kind of like out of focus and not that great, and some of them are really cool. Yeah, there's some really. But, cool but that's just like the reality of when you're shooting on film and you have no idea yeah so, yeah and that's crazy mm -hmm. um but yeah we let's 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 dive into to legacy give it a listen uh it's not very long anyway i think the whole no. fucking thing is like eight minutes long <laughs> i do i it's, do uh, have uh, the two bonus tracks there that are longer than the actual uh, EP. Yeah. So, so the, <laughs> the so the bonus tracks are things that I did back in like '97 or something on that same like this, on this fucking guy, this uh, yeah this this fucking computer, um, which is which is why I put them as bonus tracks because I was like oh it's like the same MIDI thing so, um, but yeah you can play that then. Well, but what uh, I, I was sorry, what were you gonna say? Something I, I want to say about legacy, really. Like when I, when I joined, fuck the fact. Like all I had to show, like my friends were kind of the earlier stuff, like discoing the dead, backstabber, all the really harsh stuff. And my friends, my family, like they didn't really get it, you know. <laughs> so, but, Why would they not get that? <laughs> They probably still don't. I think with Legacy, though, it really uh, was kind of uh, a different style of music that they could really get into. You, you know, some of my friends that like Mr. Bungle and things like pretty avant-garde kind of things, uh, they could really get into into that. So that that was cool because when I went somewhere and I, you know, was uh, making them listen to my band, then, you know, they'd be like, oh, this is awesome, and they would mean it. Before, it was like, oh, this is pretty uh, intense. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> intense. 
Wait, when people say we're intense, that's a bad thing? Yeah, they mean, they mean <laughs> shit. <laughs> that means, yeah. You guys were really intense. <laughs> what? Fuck you, it's like, asshole. It's like, good set, guys. Yeah, that's really wrong. They say, oh, yeah, that's you guys, wrong. that's really wrong. Yeah. It's a lot of passion, guys. <laughs> um, yeah, okay, cool. And, and another thing is actually, this is also kind of connects with Mac on the Gay, is we recorded all the drums and, and the bass guitar uh, with, with your buddy, Steph, yep. right? Yep. Uh, and that's how I got to meet him, is through you. Mm-hmm. Uh, and it was funny, you sent me some photos, which I'm, we'll probably see at some point. Uh, looking at that, I was like, holy fuck, man, it's, it's, you know, because I, I was, I went to Steph's place like years later and, and it already was like way upgraded over that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> like more than 10 years ago. And yeah. looking at that, it's like, wow, it's so like, kind of like ghetto garage recording, but you know, it, it's still awesome. You did a great job. <laughs> All right. Bill, are you ready? Let's do this. Yes. You need someone else to del hand deliver you a puts in? What? <laughs> puts in? Yeah. Yeah. No. Uh, yeah. So I can't. Yeah, fuck it. Here we go. <laughs> what? <laughs> well, why? <laughs> Yeah, they bring their phone. My, my volume is at zero, so I can't do like a fade or anything like that. So. Oh, boo. I have it right here. Whoa. Oh, yeah, there you go. Yeah. And uh, yeah, another yeah, another thing about this thing is this is where that this whole like uh, I have it too. <laughs> Uh, that logo, we made it for that release. Yeah, it's this, ridiculous. what we call the legacy bird that we still use. And actually, you did that. You did yeah, I did. Them. I did you this. Did. Yeah, I did this. This bird, yeah. Yeah, and it's, it's stuck around forever. Oh, it says put this CD in your computer for bonus audio tracks. I had no idea. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All these years. <laughs> <laughs> That in during that intro, uh, there's a guy talking, and those are actually taken from these uh, old alcoholic anonymous tapes that I had. That I I had just like went to a store and I had bought like a whole. The guy was like, I got a box full of tapes I'm selling. I'm like, I'm fucking buying that shit, and it had alcoholics anonymous tapes, and that sample is actually taken from an alcoholics anonymous tape. Oh, cool. Yeah, so... Oh yeah, make sure you listen. Don't remember using, having to hit the sampler perfectly for this song. Oh yeah. Oh, you oh, know, yeah. you know. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so this is all me doing the vocals. I don't think Mel doesn't show up until it's way weird. later. Yeah. Actually, it was, I played this on guitar as well live. Oh, he has a very bad thing sample. Yeah. Oh yeah, and dear yeah, dear shit focus like. like the hip, if there's a hip, this one? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is the one I remember more from the demo yeah. than this one. This, I think this is... Uh, you know what? I might not have... I might have to get you to send me the demo, because I don't even know if I have it anymore. Because in the demo, it gets really dancey at one point. <laughs> And I remember being all like, you gotta keep that. And, you didn't. and I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> this is how it works. Don't use that. He uses it. Use that. Yeah. Doesn't use it. <laughs> yeah, I think it's when the bass drum comes back in and it's 
This is a fun song because this song is like one riff. It's basically one riff. Yeah, this part here. Oh, this? And it's all chromatic. And here? On the demo, it's like really dancey. Oh. Uh, <laughs> wow. I want to hear that now. Yeah, I want to hear it too. Dave might be the only person in existence that has that demo. Oh yeah, there's some like piano stuff that I did there. Well, there's some... That's uh, I recognize this one. Is it, is it? Vanilla Sky samples. I really like this song. I think this this might actually be one of my my favorite on this in eight minute EP. It's funny that like I recognize this song. Of course, we all recognize this song. Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh man, when you dialed in the Dan Suano too, that's when I was all like, "Keep going." Oh yeah. Oh, this is totally that that influence. Yeah, for sure. Who's playing that? I don't know. This might be. I, I feel like this, this I did like one guitar bomb. and Dave did the other, and that's how we did it, right? You're probably on one side and I'm on the other side. Yeah. I think Dave is on this side, I think, because it sounds like he's actually palm muting properly. <laughs> you mean the right side? <laughs> all, these year, all these years later, I can tell the difference. <laughs> I'm not palm muting properly. All these like creepy fucking. And this was all mixed by uh, Craig Boychuk, who's our buddy that we toured with at his concrete. Is he actually still doing anything, recording and whatnot? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We, we, we did no, a session this... with him. I mean, sorry, the not end, recording, the, but The streaming. end of that song, sorry to interrupt, but the end of that song has always bothered me. How it, it has this really abrupt fade out. Mm -hmm. It's like, why? <laughs> why the fuck did I do that? It's such like a <laughs> shitty fade out. Remember how you said you weren't patient? Yeah, I wasn't patient. I was like, <laughs> fade it out now. I just went, done. <laughs> Yeah, that eclaboussa, yeah. So that's when I join. Yeah, so Mel shows up now and does vocals on this song. And I don't know if we wrote this song afterwards or not. Dave, do you remember writing this? Oh, you'll hear it once it starts there. The song with like the tapping. Yeah, this was after. Yeah. Maybe we wrote this together? I don't even remember. I think you wrote one part and I just played whatever harmony on top of it. That's usually how it worked, because you wrote a line and I would just try to play something different on top of it. Oh yeah, it did. Oh yeah, and you were huge into that back and forth thing. I remember that. I mean, like every I chord, it was it. like, you play a chord, now you play a chord, and it was like, okay. That's still, I still do that every time, fucking, yeah. Yeah, because I remember half of my riffs were like, da, 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 da. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this. It would have been nice but if I would have played sound, that better, but... It does sound different than the first few songs. It doesn't have that yeah. MIDI sound, I guess. It's more like a normal... It's yeah. more like a normal FTF song with, like, MIDI. It's like... The other songs are, like, MIDI-based with the, like, us playing over them, but this is, like, us playing it with, like, MIDI over it. Yeah, I think yeah, actually, this was maybe the only one where... Tim, maybe not, but you played to a click, but... In the other ones, you're following the song. In this one, you're just playing to a click. I think so, yeah. 
This one I remember, yeah. Well, it was a click yeah. and and Tolpon and Mark. I'm pretty sure, just a scratch tracks type of thing. So, yeah, when yeah. we when the we tracked mode. it. Yeah, when we tracked it at Steph's place. Yeah. Actually, because I think it's one of those uh, most is, like the one of the coolest things about this is like those blast beats over like the super classic like FTF uh, uh, blast beat like a uh, drum machine blast beat, and I think the drums is actually sound really nice on this on the CP. Yeah. Sound cool. Weirdly enough, I actually still have. No, it's not here. It's actually at my buddy uh, Paco's place that I'm recording with that snare, but um, I still have that snare and it hasn't been touched. That is still the exact sound. The FTF snare sound that I had <laughs> is still there. Oh, and wow. It, yeah. I own like six snares now, though. So. <laughs> There's one for each band, basically. Damn. <laughs> yeah. Actually, and I and I got pictures from that Sherbrooke show with uh, Marc Andrean guitar. I remember now. I remember that show for one reason only. Well, two reasons actually. One, because I I still had my other drum kit, my red drum kit, my Mars kit from. Who the fuck does that? I don't even remember. Anyways, and because uh, I remember, because uh, the sound guy was like, "Nice floor, Tom, dude." I was like, "Thanks, bud." And the other thing I remember is. Um, uh, not Alex, but the other singer from Despise Icon hiding because he didn't want to load out. <laughs> that's, that's the two things I remember from that show. I didn't even remember Mark was Marc -André was playing guitar. Yeah. <laughs> hey, merci, Simon. Oh, yeah, it was Simon, eh? Yeah. yeah. You know what, Dave? I was I was wrong. So this 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 thing that I have on this disc that you gave me, mm -hmm. this acoustic thing, I don't think I ever used it. I'm gonna have to use it now. Go nuts! <laughs> sounds like shit, though. Apparently, <laughs> yeah, it sounds like shit. <laughs> right up my alley. Uh, um, I, 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 oh yeah, that's I, that's basically it. We listened to the whole fucking EP. Now here's like this is some like weird psychedelic fucking midi shit I did. Is that on? But is I just added the... Uh, These are the bonus tracks. So this is... a CD when you play it. No, you I've have to... I've never heard this. Yeah, you have to... Yeah, you have to rip this. Oh, shit. I don't recognize this. Yeah. I, never... I put it there because it was also midi. This is, uh, 132 of Jesus, and this is, like, when I was a bike courier, I wrote this. It's about that. It's about being a bike courier. So now Bill started the photos. Yeah. I don't know oh, if yeah. you guys also say. see oh, yeah. the Facebook I don't see it. Where do, where do I go? You gotta go on the Facebook and start yeah. the event as a viewer. Just as long as you mute the event so you don't have the audio. Um, what, to... One thing that's neat about like Tim's drum kit that I forgot is that you you were using that little blue like Roto Tom. Oh, Roto Toms, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love that thing. And that thing was amazing. It's weird because the floor tom doesn't match the the rest of the kit. No, because that that's actually Connell's kit. Hence why the FTF sound kit. Oh, that was Connell's kit except for the floor tom. Yeah. Is it like oh, a, still a pearl kit? expert? Expert export. Yeah. You know what's really funny? I'll show you something. <laughs> Let's see it. <laughs> Oh, oh, is yeah. it still there? there you go. <laughs> nice. <laughs> it's just next to the baby's toys. Uh, yeah. 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 That's, that's yeah. About, yeah. That sums up all of our lives right there. Yeah. <laughs> I still actually, that's still the best sounding. That's like my recording bass drum. I don't know that's why. Awesome. Really, really good <laughs> all the time. So. That picture. <laughs> and weirdly enough, the rest of the drum kit is another kit that John Longstreth owned and then Connell mm. bought off him and then I bought off Connell. Oh, Everything wow. on this kit is pretty much Connell's old drum kit. Oh my God, we look like babies. Yeah, there's some cool photos that yeah. Dave sent from uh, the tour that we did out west with uh, Head It's Concrete. The, there's the photo of three of you guys yeah. with the Head It's Concrete t-shirt, <laughs> it's amazing. That's awesome. I also like how I used to fucking rock that soul patch. It's 
pretty awesome. <laughs> I gotta bring that shit back. Do you? This this photo with us with Hedis Concrete, we're there. Oh, this photo with with Mel in front of all the amps, like that's a that's in Calgary. That's at the outhouse in Calgary. Oh shit! Yeah, so yeah, that's yeah. what I was saying in the email I sent. Is that amp? That was my setup to replace Mark. Because if you look at it, there's a bass head that went through yeah. a guitar head. Yeah. And then my guitar had, I think my E string was a B string. Here's the proof. So my low end was all bass to try and make up for no bass. Yeah. So you were running through those two heads. Yeah. And then it was split to the two cabs. Yeah. And we went, we went all the way out to Vancouver on that tour, right? Yeah. Did we, did we go to Victoria or no? Probably. I don't know if we did. So yeah, Not we see the photo now on. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. me on guitar. And that's the oh, yeah. second and picture. Steve is there. Yeah, yeah, no, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. I don't remember. Yeah. yeah, totally despised ice icon show. <laughs> oh, but man. yeah, Topan, you were saying, you know, that uh, sometimes it's like we didn't really care who was going to make it to that particular show. Like we'd, we'd play it like we're missing one guitar or if I wasn't there as the basis, it's like, yeah. fuck it, we're still oh, going to yeah. do it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. That was totally them. Oh, man, I love this picture of the recording. He's got two monitors, but they're like old school fucking like... Yeah, CRT. <laughs> it's probably like a 15 inch and a 17 yeah. inch. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so fucking Cubase SX. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. It's uh, awesome to see. I feel like yeah, we're listening okay. to Genesis here. What's going on? <laughs> Uh, Fucking Dave, Phil it's Collins art. playing. <laughs> <laughs> it's wonderful. This started out, I was saying to them before, is when when I was playing with you, this was around for a while, and I think this initially was supposed to be like your own thing. It wasn't supposed to be an FTF. Thing. It was supposed to be, yeah, it was supposed to be something different, but I think we ended up just doing it anyway, just because... I don't remember. I don't remember what was going through my head exactly at that time, but I was just like, oh, "It's not going to be anything else. Fuck it. Let's just do it." Um, but yeah, uh, yeah. So it, it definitely sticks out a bit, I think, because of that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but it's cool. Yeah, because if you remove the CP from our discography and go from what was before to what was after, it makes sense. You know what I mean? Like. Mm -hmm. This one is the one that sticks out uh, in a good way. Like, it's just interesting. Corey's there. Corey Levesque is there, and he's mentioning those PETA X shows. Those were always a lot of fun. He's PETA. also mentioning your soul patch, but I'm... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we're not going to talk about that soul patch. It's not coming back. No. I can't rock the soul patch anymore. Not legally. Not legally. <laughs> we got a lot of trouble for that shit. Um, but yeah, I don't know, like any, any other like cool memories you guys have from like shows that we played? Like I know we did that whole trek out west, uh, which was really wild with Head is Concrete, uh, which was a lot of fun. I just remember everyone getting sick on that tour. Really? Did we all get sick? Yeah. Sounds like is, every tour. is that the tour? Is that the tour also that we went camping at this campground that where yeah, there was nobody? <laughs> yeah, and the coyotes yeah. everywhere. I think. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. That's Actually, when I it, that's when I shaved the sides of my head. Do you remember? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't remember who, but someone put a can of zoodles on the fire. Oh yeah. That was you, Dave. To see. Oh, it was, was it me, you? Dave. <laughs> Oh, and then someone, maybe me, decided when it was a ball <laughs> to shove a knife in it. <laughs> and it remember it shot across and almost killed someone and smacked into the van. I remember that. 
Yeah. That was just like a really weird place to camp. And it's like, there was no check-in. I think there was just like a box that was like, yeah. this is where you're supposed to put your money to pay for camping. And we're like, fuck that. Yeah, it made no sense. I think, I think we ended up leaving like $5 because we felt terrible. Because I think, I don't know what we did, but I think we made a mess of the place. A little bit, at least. Probably. It was, uh -huh. Yeah. It was terrible. <laughs> I feel like I remember too, it was like a horror movie where we got there and there was a sign of like a beach and people and then on the other side of the sign was like dirt and the water was all gone and it was completely empty and yeah, yeah we just stayed there. That's like horror, horror movie sort of background, yeah. But I remember us getting so drunk at that night, like so drunk. Yeah, but... Uh, that was also because we were like three quarters way in to halfway. <laughs> we're like, all right, our tolerance is way up. From the <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> I don't know if we had a, a day off the next day or we were just driving or something. We were just like, <laughs> well, we got to get everything we need. So we got double of everything because we're camping. So <laughs> we're just like, we have to drink all of this beer. We can't keep it with us. I don't think there was days off because I remember no. I feel like an Edmonton show got canceled. And that, Tim, you were mad because you wanted to go to the West Edmonton Mall. Or something. <laughs> I did. I did. I've actually. But we ended up. We skipped it and went to the next one. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. So maybe, yeah. So maybe there was a show that was canceled. I remember that because there was the one that we ended up in Vancouver. We ended up doing a house show and a bar show the next day. Yeah, yeah I think that's what made up for it. Yeah. And I think we did the drive. I think from. It was either, I think, Calgary to Vancouver. It was like a, an insane drive. We did like some fucking really crazy drive. I feel uh, like maybe it was on the way back, but at some point near Calgary, I think Mel was driving through a rain or something and we got a flat tire. I feel like that was a kind of memory of that. That was What's that? That was actually us going on to on the way to BC or on the way back from BC because we were mm -hmm. in the mountain during the whole yeah. yeah, didn't we have to empty the van to get the van up high enough to change the tire? Just yeah. so we could get the jack to work. That's right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I yeah. was like, yeah, and the pouring rain, and, and we were all sick. That was it. Everyone yeah. had the flu. Yeah, and uh, and Cleo was with us this whole time as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I can't believe that uh, that was the tour that made him keep <laughs> touring. Yeah, and he still yeah. does that. Like, now. I remember, I forget who I talked to a while ago, that he was doing sound for Eric Clapton. Like, which is insane. <laughs> wow. Yeah, it's quite a jump. I remember uh, the show, uh, it, it wasn't on that West Coast tour, because I, I wasn't there for that, but I remember we were booked uh, probably in January or early in Juan uh, and uh, I know it, it really didn't sound really appealing to drive up there, like, I don't know, six hours, probably on a small road in the snow, you know, maybe get stuck or something. Yeah. But uh, when we got there, it was like a really nice venue. It was packed of people and there was like a little buffet for us and everything. We could uh, hang out like in the in the basement of the, that venue. So uh, it turned out to be a, a really, you know, a cool experience. But uh, at first, you know, just hearing yeah. the, the plans, uh, it, it didn't <laughs> sound cool at all, but uh, it turned out great. Do you yeah. remember, Mark, the actual drawing you made before we were going to go to that? You like had a map from Google Maps and then in the middle, it's like, that's us. And there's like a wolf, like eating the pen or something. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> I don't remember. You still have that in my email somewhere. No. You've never seen that. I'm like, yeah, there's a spot where there's like 100 kilometers or 112 kilometers where there's no gas stations, there's no one, no cell reception, no nothing. Yeah, yeah. when you enter the, the park till you. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, well. The wolf. That's funny. Just eating stuff. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> it just goes to show, like, sometimes. You you never know how a show is going to turn out, you know? Yeah. Sometimes I remember on the opposite end of the spectrum, like we were booked uh, in, in Toronto. I think it was Planet Kingsington. Like it's a small, it's a small venue, but uh, 
that was an awful show for me. Like you, you think, oh, we're gonna play Toronto, but uh, it was like there was about five people there. <laughs> they were drunk. One of them poured his beer all over my base, you know, and I was like, ah, oh, what am I doing with my life? You know, yeah. that... <laughs> I was gonna bring up that one. I remember that. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I remember. I was uh, totally bummed out after the, that show. But uh, I think you, you had know... just gotten. Uh... You just got that nice new bass too, right? Yeah, yeah. It's uh, I, I still have it. It's a nice bass, uh, but uh, and, and it still works. <laughs> it just was kind of uh, I don't know, not not really my scene, you know, because I, I wasn't super in the punk side of things. I was more on the metal side of things. So when we played more for a punk uh, crowd like that, that I was a little out of my uh, element. I would say. Yeah, and we definitely kind of like rode that that border of like punk shows and metal shows. I forgot about that Planet Kensington show, but that totally makes sense that it was like horrible. Like that's that that venue is literally like I it doesn't exist anymore probably, but it's like a corridor. Like it's got to be like one, six feet wide. Wasn't that the one that like around a bunch of fish shops? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's in the Kensington yeah. market. Oh, yeah, yeah. That was... I think that... Was that the one where when we were ending, the night crowd was coming in and they were like a really... I don't know if it was like a goth or industrial crowd. No, I, I don't think I don't think it was that. No? I remember there was one and they were kind of... There was a lot of people that clearly didn't want us there standing and waiting for us to be done <laughs> and get out of there. Or that was Classic. It. <laughs> that sounds about right. Yeah, that's, that's, isn't that most shows? Yeah, like, yeah, that's that is most shows. Yeah, yeah, you basically just summed up my life. Thanks. <laughs> He's done. Uh, there was a bite. bar out west. One, one of the shows we played, we closed down some popular bar. I don't remember what it was, or a club, or something. I don't have a memory for that, but that was a really good show. Yeah, I think the the tour out west, like was a lot of fun uh, because it was completely new to all of us, you know, to, to travel that far and play shows, uh, travel that far to play shows. And, you know, touring with the Head It's Concrete guys, I feel like we really got along well with them. Yeah, and they were good. Like, yeah. Live, I remember. Yeah, they were an awesome, they were an awesome band as well. So, uh, yeah, it was a lot of fun. But yeah, I don't know. Yeah. There's a lot of fucking crazy shit. <laughs> Another There's fun show of... we played uh, was uh, in Sturgeon Falls, and uh, you know when 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 something happens in Sturgeon Falls, like everyone shows up, you know. So the old folks, the young folks, everyone was there. Like the whole town was there because it was the thing going on that night. So it, it was a, a really diverse crowd there in Sturgeon <laughs> Falls one night. Well, you know what? Since then, they got a Tim Horton, so now... Uh, uh, you know, okay. It's a show's anymore. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I can hang out at Tim Horton's or I can go to the Grindcore show. <laughs> Sorry, Grindcore. You can bring your folding chair at the Tim Horton, not at the Grindcore show. That's the issue. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Back, back then, it was, it was really, like, any... Everywhere and, like, anywhere. If I could book a show somewhere, it's like we're playing. We're playing Toronto fucking six times this month and wherever we're driving and doing all this fucking shit. Um, yeah, it was wild. So, yeah. I, I don't, I definitely don't blame you guys for getting fed up with that shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, any, any sane person would. Yeah. <laughs> For me, it wasn't that I was fed up. It was that, you know, it was kind of unsustainable because I was trying to do like a 40 hour a week job and have a family and then have two jams a week and then the weekend, a couple of shows out of town. Like it, it was it, yeah. like for me, it, it, it was a, yeah. a schedule that I couldn't sustain for very long. So it's, we didn't have we all didn't have kids back then. So now that i have kids i understand and a full-time job now i understand how it could have been tough to make it all work right like, yeah, oh, yeah. That you had a hard time making it work 
Yeah. And so, it, 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 yeah, it only got worse after that too, because like I think like when Bill and I were were jamming, it was like four times a week, and we were playing shows all the time. It was basically that's all we fucking did. Yeah. So yeah. like four four times a week, we jammed two shows on the weekend. So it's like six days of the week. Yeah, it's just yeah. it was crazy. Sometimes I we get back home like let's say really really late. Saturday night, so early Sunday morning. Sunday. So let's say I'd get up or I'd get home at 6 a.m. On, on the Sunday, about the same time that my daughter would wake up. So she was happy. She was like, hey. And then I was like, all right, well, we're going to play a game, you know? I'm going to pretend that I'm your baby and you make me take a nap, you know? <laughs> and that, she, she went along for a few minutes, you know? Put the yeah, that's you know, yeah. cover on me and then, okay, let's play another game. <laughs> yeah, that's the problem with that game. Like, now we know that game does not work. No. It's like, oh, yeah, I'm gonna go to sleep. It's like, it lasts like two minutes. Yeah. Maybe. If you're lucky, and they're like, get the fuck up! <laughs> play with me now! <laughs> hmm. Um, but yeah, I don't know, like, yeah, so, I guess, you know, what, what a, we'll probably wrap it up soon here. Let's see what what else have you guys been up to? Is anyone up to like any other musical projects? Um, well, for myself, after I did uh, a couple things here and there, I think you helped me with the brain weapon thing, mm -hmm. which is just a bunch of tunes I wanted to make. Yeah. And uh, the brain yeah, weapon stuff. Just... What's that? The brain weapons is just yeah. It's brain you. weapon is just Dave, and and the brain weapon stuff is, is awesome. Um, and yeah, we should definitely put a link to that because it, it turned out turned out super well. Yeah, I think you made it kind of all. Well, you mastered it, I guess. And put it all together, but uh, yeah, that was just me kind of messing around in the basement at the time. And uh, I think Mike Raymond helped me with that. He did the drums. Um, yeah, yeah, nice. Yeah, one of the songs, I, I remember taking his drums because he did two songs, but I needed three. So I took the two <laughs> songs and yeah. chopped it up to no end to make a third song. <laughs> nice. That sounds nice. like something you would do. Yeah. That's the way to do it, man. Yeah, but now it's just kind of every now and then I'll make a demo or something and just for fun to listen to on my own and not much else. I did a yeah. chakra recording for someone, kind of. It's like a meditation thing. Yeah, what? Shaka, oh, yeah, that's what he said. Yeah, yeah. Cool, I wasn't sure too. Correct. That was probably yeah. the last quote. Cool. I thought you were saying Shakara. Shakira? Shakira? <laughs> <laughs> it's not bad. not Shakara. No, nothing much, I just did guitars for Shakira. Yeah, I'm uncredited, of course. <laughs> um, yeah. But yeah, okay, it's mostly well, now just listening to tunes and gotten kind of uh, bad at picking up albums and can't stop that now. That's the addiction so far. Yeah. Yeah, I've done a few things over the year too. Like I've uh, I've done some guitar covers on YouTube. I've uh, I've uh, composed a lot of music too. Like I wrote music for. Uh, uh, a TV show, or a few things like that. Uh, it's small gigs, like it's not uh, it's not uh, Game of Thrones. Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's a kind of uh, a low key TV show, but it's still something. You know, I I, I like to keep busy. I like to have uh, little projects, uh, often uh, d different uh, artistic projects. Like I'm I've done a little bit of painting. I've uh, you know I, I, yeah I just. I you know, whatever uh, comes up in my head, I, I try to uh, make it happen. I was going to say one thing. I like like Makande because I have you like on my Facebook. I, and I, you know, we've kind of kept in touch a bit more. So I see you go through these like phases. And one, one I really enjoyed was when you did like the stand up comedy for a while. Yeah. Like, so you get really interested in something and then you're just like, bang, 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 you start doing it. It's fucking, it's awesome, man. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, but you start uh, doing it, you're good at it. It's like, but I also get bored quickly, so yeah. <laughs> so I'll do something and I'll really like get into it for a while, and then I'll, you know, just shelve it for 
you know, a few years and maybe get back to it, maybe not. Mm. It's the way it goes. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> so no more stand-up comedy? No. No, no. I did that uh, a couple of years and it was tough uh, in, in Gatineau because there's not a lot of um, opportunities to practice. Like when you're in Montreal, there's almost like there's a couple of uh, comedy shows uh, going on every night. So you can book yourself a spot and you can really, really, uh, you know, hone your craft. Uh, when you're in Gatineau, there's less uh, opportunities. So. Uh, Probably but, in English and Ottawa, it's easier than in French on the Gatineau side. Maybe, maybe too. Yeah, I don't know. It, yeah, because it's tough, man. Like, stand up is one of those things, like, because everyone thinks they're funny, right? And, you know, everyone's kind of yeah. funny, but, like, yeah. getting up on stage and trying to, like, make other people, like, laugh. Because we've yeah. gone to a couple of shows at, like, Yuck Yucks. And, man, like, when it's it's got to be tough. Like, it's, yeah, it's well, got to be tough. Because the thing that I find is that uh, when you're up there, you're not comfortable, like uh, especially when you're starting out. Like, so it's tough to be funny when you're feeling shy and uncomfortable uh, on a stage. So, yeah. so that's why you need to practice more and more so that you get over kind of that shyness. Yeah. I, I think. It's yeah, it's like playing in music, right? No, it's like yeah. being in a band, just got to rehearse, right? You got to be at Planet Kensington <laughs> when you come to the show, then you're good. Yeah, did yeah, you add yeah. that story to your <laughs> add that story to your stand up? Yeah, maybe or get the uh, artists uh, or get the uh, participation from the crowd, you know, pour your beer on me. <laughs> That's the show. Oh god. Uh, all right. Hey, 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 Tim, what are you, what are you up to, man? Um, recently, well, like I said, I just kind of got back into playing drums often. So, um, but right now, actually, we're setting up something at, uh, at my buddy Paco. You might know him randomly, it's Eric, but it's nickname is Paco. Anyways, we're setting this stuff up at his place to actually do recordings. So he's got, uh, he's starting to do retracking of guitars because uh, okay. he has like rare, rare Marshall cabs that are worth like. Fifty, sixty thousand dollars each. Wow! So we started advertising. Where does he live? <laughs> it's just in Orleans, actually. Weirdly yeah. enough, so. that's crazy. Yeah. So he's starting to do set up for that, but we also have his drums there, and I brought. I'm going to be bringing my drum mics that I have thousands of dollars worth of drum mics. So I'm going to start actually tracking stuff, just for the hell of it. So and actually retracking the Donner Party stuff. Too. Are you going to remix it? <laughs> Probably not. No, that makes no. us like that's in the past. That's okay. A, it's good enough. Yeah. I'm just going to be re-recording it completely as like doing the same songs, writing a few new ones, obviously with uh, Sean Sayers in there, but uh, and basically just trying to make them listen. Because if if you hear the albums at some point or the one album at some point off Bandcamp, it's like 240, 250 BPMs at all times. Okay. So it's stupid. Mm -hmm. So it's basically being hung over and my blood sugar is low and I did everything in one take. Yeah. Can you, do you still play that fast or you find age as like... Uh, I can. I like to. Oh. <laughs> I most yeah. definitely, I've gotten better at just being good at being smooth about it instead of going like, I'm like, okay, you know, blast. It's 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 kind of bred into me now, but I also do interlock too, run my own business. So when it comes to doing blast beating and stuff like that, my arms are still they're stronger and faster than some what they used to be. So because I'm doing stuff like 80, 90 hours a week, and then sitting down on the drum kit, and I'm like, well, this is easy. Yeah. But yeah, so starting to do that a little bit, and uh, yeah, I'll try to keep going with that a little bit. That's awesome, man. Yeah, yeah. You gotta, uh, you gotta send us some stuff. I'll, I'll try if I can. My thing is that when I moved from my apartment to here, I've never unpacked anything. <laughs> I had bed bugs. Oh, oh shit. So it was like, a, okay, I'm gonna keep the the CDs, the the DAT tapes, all this other shit that I might have as far as recording goes. But I'm like, I've never unpackaged them yet. So and they're probably know. dead in the boxes by now, eh? <laughs> Probably that's what I'm a little worried about. I, I kind of don't want to just to just to be like, there's a possibility that they're still good, 
but I don't want to open them and be like, well, that's just garbage now. So. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, either way. So should be doing that probably in the next few weeks. I tracked actually last weekend for some oh, uh, John party tracks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just to test the miking out because we set up a new room, new drum kit. That's Paco Bob, and I was like, okay, let's see what happens, and then you know, see yeah. if it actually turns into anything. So. Yeah. yeah, I would. I would love to hear some new Donner Party. Um, yeah, I guess the Doctor Wiley stuff you're not doing anymore. No, Are you in touch with those guys at all? Not particular. Not in the last. Not since I had a kid, basically. basically. Not since I had my son, basically. So, I did see Pete. I think it was four years ago, because I needed to grab some more albums from him because there was people emailing me about getting Doctor Wiley albums like five years ago. Which but um, yeah, since then, that's kind of the last contact I've had with them. Uh, they basically just kind of drifted apart. He still does yeah. some you know, uh, just guitar tracking and stuff with certain people. Yeah. But yeah, that, was, uh, that was really cool. That was that was a like Nintendo cover band. Yeah. yeah. Is that, that was, shit is that shit up on Bandcamp? Uh, it's Spotify. Spotify? Yeah, okay. little bit enough. Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. That one I've been wanting to remix or remaster, but it's like, yeah. yeah. What's that full name? I always called it Dr. Wiley and uh, like, and the Master Robots? Is the Robot right Masters. Close. And the Robot Master. Oh. Oh. And they froze. The, ro the oh. robots have spoken. Oh, yeah. oh. Fucking internet. oh, there you go. There you are. All right. There we go. Uh, the robot masters are angry at you. Yeah. They don't want fucking Steve Jobs. <laughs> son of a bitch. <laughs> that, that dead son of a bitch. Steve Jobs, you dead son of a bitch. Leave us alone. <laughs> <Bad>. <laughs> Alright, that was crazy. Yeah. Why? Well, now I totally understand the movie The Matrix. <laughs> Fucks with these people. Alright, sorry. Dr. Uh, Wily uh, and the Robot Master Band. Yeah. <laughs> so that's cool. yeah. <laughs> that was inverting. Uh, the Master uh, of Robots, maybe? I guess. <laughs> that's the remix band that does it like acoustically. We actually were joking about doing that at one point. Um, all right. Okay. I think we should we should probably wrap it up here with these guys. Uh, Before the god of the internet. Yeah. Us get yeah. Up. Before Steve. fucking Steve Jobs fucking sinks his claws in us once again and <laughs> freezes us, you motherfucker. Um, it's that iPhone. It's that new iPhone. It's because we're not using the new iPhone. Yeah. That's why he's so pissed. That would be nuts if technology gets yeah. to the level of like... He's like, that's not a proper iPhone. That's not even a phone. I'm pretty sure technology is already there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, but yeah, we'll take off. Thanks everyone for, for hanging out. And thanks, like, especially to you guys. Yeah, it thanks was a lot, guys. Fucking super awesome. Uh, no, that we're, yeah, that we're yeah. able to like um, grab all of you and do this fucking mishmash of of everyone together. And, it's not uh, a mishmash. It's the genuine like we're like a genuine, the yeah. Line. yeah, genuine, genuine mash, genuine mishmash. Yeah, mash, mash for real. <laughs> uh, mash for real. Cool. Yeah, I just want to say I got I got your last one. This guy. Oh yeah. Oh, and, uh, it's really good. I really <laughs> like it. That's all Thanks, I have to say. Like right. <laughs> you, hear, you hear that, everybody? Go yeah, fucking wrong. pick it up. It's good. Yeah, go pick it up. And if you already bought it, buy it again. Yeah, yeah thank you. Uh, it reminds yeah, me no, a lot. There's, there's parts on it. I don't know if you ever listened to... Uh... Well, I did steal a few of your ideas. No, no. Is, that what, uh, is that what you were going to say? Something serious. No? Okay, no, then forget I said that. I didn't steal any of your ideas. Those are all mine. I wouldn't remember anyways, so it's fine. <laughs> but anyways, okay. it's good. I like it. 
All right, we should probably call it. This fucking grapefruit IPA is kicking in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna start saying shit I'm gonna regret. Um, yeah. I'm gonna have a good night, guys. It's been awesome uh, catching up. Um, bye bye. Yeah, for sure. All right. All right. Thanks, everyone. Um, <laughs> All right. Um, have a good one. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna split. But if you guys if you guys want to hang out a bit longer uh, and talk a bunch. Uh, stay online and uh, we'll do that. What? Bill, don't give me that look, Jesus you motherfucker. All right. <laughs> All right, thanks a lot. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. Cheers. See you next time. Bye, right out of your neck.